Welcome, everyone, to your very first C++ tutorial. And before all of you guys start flipping out, saying, Bucky, you are awesome. I'm a longtime subscriber. However, I've been watching your videos for a while, and you have already made C++ tutorials. I will say this. I know I have made a little series a couple years ago, probably, in C++, but I actually went back and rewatched all my videos, and I noticed that they're kind of old, outdated. The quality wasn't really that great, and I really wasn't going over everything I needed to be going over. And in addition to all that, whenever I made a tutorial, I pretty much just made it and uploaded it to YouTube. And with this series, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be saving all the code for you guys, and I'm going to be posting it on my forum. So if you guys want to follow along with me, and you know just go ahead and copy the code it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier so again if you guys want any of the code for any of my tutorials just hop over to my forum and I'll have it you can just copy and paste it in your program and uh, yeah like I said make your life a whole lot easier so that was my message to my old subscribers but to you guys who are viewing this video for the first time welcome to your very first C++ tutorial so what C++ is, it's pretty much a way that we can program computers, make cool uh, computer programs. It's pretty much a computer programming language. All right, so you guys might be wondering, why the heck do I have Google open then? What are we doing, gonna you know get on Facebook and meet some chicks? No, I mean we will, but we'll do that later. What we're gonna be doing now is, in order to write C++ code, we need a special program and what this program does is it takes code that we can understand and changes it into code the computer can understand simple enough and this is actually called a compiler there we go now there are a bunch of different C++ compilers you can get my favorite is called dev C why is this not typing that's embarrassing dev C++ go ahead and hit enter in probably the first thing that's going to pop up is this bloodshed software dev c++ so go ahead and click that and by the way this is a free compiler you don't have to pay for it or anything let's just go ahead and go to downloads page and let's just go ahead and pick one we want it's probably going to be the top one it says dev minus c++ um, your version might be a little different depending on when you're watching this tutorial but anyways it's most likely going to be the very top one and all you have to do to download it is go ahead and click this and I'm not going to click it because I already have this program downloaded and I don't want two of them on my computer because you know why would I but go ahead click that download it um you know I don't think I have to teach you guys how to download a program it's just like any other program click it and then hit next about 800 times and then you know once you're done you have your program downloaded so now that you have it downloaded and again, like I said, I use Dev C++, but you guys can use any compiler you want, as long as it's for C++. So go ahead and open it, and if you have Dev C++ and you're following along with me, then you get this nice tip of the day. Let's go ahead and X out of that. But the very first thing we want to do is go ahead and open up a blank file that we can work with. So go ahead and go to File, New source file or if you're really lazy you can hit control and n I'm gonna have to remember that because I myself am very lazy so now you have this blank source file and this is the file where we can write all the C++ code we can ever dream of however before we do that you should always do this file save as and save your source file something I'm just gonna name mine uh, YouTube and you can either push dot cpp or just go ahead and save it as type c++ source file and this is a special type of file that your computer understands is a c++ file that's all so go ahead and save it and now we have a blank c++ file now we can go ahead and start writing some code however i'm going to be saving that for the next tutorial so uh... now that you have everything set up and good to go you're ready to move on to next tutorial 
if you watch this video and you weren't following along then go ahead to Google and you know find whatever C++ compiler you want to work with go ahead and get it downloaded and once it downloads and you got it all loaded up then you're ready to move on to the next tutorial so uh, yeah um, that's really all I gotta say and uh, yeah that's it why are you guys still watching this tutorial leave stop anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to check out my uh, next tutorial and also if you have some spare time don't forget to check out my forum and it's a pretty awesome forum that's all I'm gonna say so anyways thank you guys for watching and I'll uh, see you next time